Um, we have found that we have a minor environmental problem up at one of our pieces of property up on Horton Street, Horton and Seneca Street, and it's tied into the forever environmental problem with the gas station on the right. corner that's been trying to be resolved for 10, 15 years. In drilling holes, they found the property next to that, which is owned by Randy Weaver, has some problems, and then they went into the grass area beyond that, which is owned by us. It was the land that we bought years ago where old Clark's Golf Station was, and they had a distribution, gas distribution place there. And uh, we did that to build Horton Street when SKF wanted to expand. We had to build a new road for them. Sam and I would recall on Long Island Railroad or right. made the deal. Right. Uh, but in drilling in the, as they always do, they drilled in there. They found some petroleum residue from probably an old gas station. Was some of that maybe um, due to the storage tanks? Probably. You know, they spill gas. Out I mean, of the ones uh, well into the storage tanks. No, oh, it was the old Clark. Old Clark. Old Remember Clark had, golf distributor. Remember, golf he had those big things. ones above ground. Right. And, and back in those days, when they distributed gas, they. You know, they poured some gas on the ground and gave it to them, you know, and so there's some down in it. Not a lot, but it's there that we have to do something about it. Now, we had our choice, really, by DEC as to whether they go ahead. They gave me the report on the gas station that they hired an engineering firm to do, and the report was 60-some pages long. They just and, done preliminary drilling right now, right? Yes, all they did was DEC did. Now, Lou Engineer's contract that I'm going to ask you to approve is, first of all, is to go back in there. Our choice with DEC was to either say, screw it, we're not going to do anything about it, or you go ahead and do something about it. Well, I've talked to all of our, uh, I've talked to a lot of our advisors and legal people and everybody else say, hey, you know, if you don't take charge of it yourself, you're opening yourself up to they get car wash. And they can hire you. Not, not only that, it's an issue. It's not going to go away. Right. Let's, let's oh, resolve. Exactly. And I said that's the, so. Lou has done has done a great job for us on a couple of other environmental ones down on Bank Street, one and up on North Main Street. They were very efficient. They did the South Yards one for us. Uh, I called them up. They were down here within four days, and they had uh, they've decided that what the first part of this contract is what I'm asking you to approve, and that's to perform additional soil and groundwater pre remedial investigation per this contract. The total of this is about $5,500. What this will do is it will go in and it will determine exactly how far down it is, what the VOCs are, and so on and so forth. And then from that, and the preliminary ones that the DEC did that we've looked at, uh, don't appear to be anything real, but uh, let me be sure that you understand this is the first phase. Right. The second phase, and it's attached here, there's a small letter at the back in the real fine print that says uh, could be it, to it could be up to fifteen to $20,000 to remediate once you find out what it is. But the remediation is going to be, it's not excavation or anything else, it's going to be drilling holes and inserting nutrient injection or oxygen reducing compound that goes down and it breaks up the VOCs down there. And that's all you do. Treated with bugs, basically. Yeah. You know, 